it's as hot as a mofo out here, I ain't gonna lie to you. Flowers and all sorts. Shittest roundabout ever in this bitch. Much traffic here, I just don't know why. This is my ritual. Go to different costas all over my area. It's about five or six of them which I travel to because I need that coffee, people. I need that coffee. Let's just keep it real. Oh, yeah. Hello, how can I help? Hi, can I have a large skinny decaf, sugar-free caramel, caramel syrup and sweetness inside, yeah, yeah? Yeah, extra syrup, yeah? Mm-hmm, okay, right. thank you. All right, thanks, thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. Chinese in this bitch. <laughs> These guys have been called Bombay Chinese for ages and for the life of me, I don't know why they call Bombay. Bombay's Indian in this bitch. They're a Chinese restaurant. I need to talk to these people. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Quick one, wanted to have a chat. Because I've been meaning to have this conversation for a while, but I just haven't had a chance to. Because I've been so busy reviewing 4K Blu-rays for you guys. Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. I'm a big fan of Conor McGregor. 100%. Am I surprised that this match happened? Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that it actually happened because I know when Mayweather fought Pacquiao, that shit took forever to make. But with McGregor, nothing surprises me. Now, if any of you guys uh, know McGregor and know what he's accomplished and actually have followed MMA, then you know what I'm talking about in the sense that every time I've doubted this guy, every time he's proved me wrong, he ain't going to win that fight. Guess what? He won that fight. Oh shit, he lost to Nate Diaz. He's not going to come back from that. Guess what? He came back from that. His adaptation game is A1. So granted, it's a bit of a freak show. And do I think Connor has a chance? I think Connor has a chance. But it's a pubic hair chance. A pubic hair chance in this bitch, I ain't gonna lie to you. They say everyone has a puncher's chance. The whole thing people say is, boxing is one discipline. With mixed martial arts, boxing is one of the disciplines of many. And I understand that too. But here's the thing, Boxing and MMA and boxing professionally are two completely different ball games. I got a martial arts background and it's different. Floyd Mayweather comes to the UFC. He's going to get bent over and shafted like a mofo. It's going to be deliverance all over again in this bitch. And if Conor goes to boxing and arguably faces the greatest pound for pound fighter of all time, he's going to get bent over. It's going to be deliverance for him in this bitch. I don't know why I used that example. It's the first thing that came into my head. I don't know why. Don't judge me. Right now, this is a win for Conor. you got an MMA guy who's done amazing things, who's crossed over to face Floyd Mayweather. That's a win. Number two, if the fight goes 12 rounds, which in most cases in recent memory it has with Floyd, then Connor's won. People are going to say, wow, a guy who's 0-0 stood with you for 12 rounds. That's a win. If Connor loses on points, that's also a win for Connor McGregor. If Connor gets knocked out, if Connor gets knocked out in the fourth quarter, the last three rounds, I still think it's a win. Although it depends on how brutal the knockout is. I think it's still a win for him. Either way, both men are leaving that fight with over a hundred million each. That's a win, whatever happens. I have this debate with friends all the time. They're like, Connor's got a hell of a left. Yeah, he's got a hell of a left. But now you've got to take into account the 10 ounce gloves. That's definitely going to take away the power from Conor McGregor. And it's also going to help with Floyd Mayweather's defense. Not that he needs it. He's an expert on defending himself. But you've got those bigger gloves. It's harder to punch through those. Do you know what I'm saying? So how's this going to work? What's going to happen? Let my brain just make the decision. My brain logically is saying Connor's going to lose. Is it possible that Floyd comes out of the gate swinging? It's possible, but that wouldn't be a good idea. Firstly, I'm expecting a boring fight anyway because both of these guys are counter punchers. That's where their strengths are. Now, you've got Connor's movement. Even in MMA, it's very, very hard to read. If I was in Connor's camp, I wouldn't say, okay, listen, you need to come at him like a boxer because... I don't think he's gonna win. Floyd's dealt with top professional boxers already. I think McGregor needs to be McGregor. He needs to be McGregor. I'll tell you what I would do. If I was McGregor, I'll tell you what I'd do. As soon as the bell rings, I'd do a spinning kick, not to Floyd, but around Floyd, so Floyd gets a bit nervous. During the fight, I would perhaps lift the knee up here and there to make him think that I might hit him, just throw him off his game a little bit. That's what I'd do. I know it's dirty tactics, but it's dirty tactics. McGregor's gonna have to go dirty boxing on that bitch. And he's gonna have to do it early because UFC rounds, I'd probably say, are gr more grueling and they are longer rounds. But by the second, third round, he gets gassed. So I'm sure he's working on his cardio. But if Connor's gonna win, if he's gonna have to do it fucking early, really early, really fast. Back to the logic. The logic says no. The logic says no. But here's the thing. I don't know I'm gonna get slated for this shit. I know, I can already see the thumbs downs and the hates. If Connor won, 
if he got a knockout, wouldn't surprise me because it's Conor McGregor. He somehow makes the highly improbable probable. You take into account Floyd's age and everything like that. Anyone can do this. It's Connor, because Connor seems to do the impossible. You think he's not going to win. He finds a way to win. He's good at this. If anyone can do it, it's going to be him. And if he wins, guys, game over. Connor owns the UFC. Point blank, period. I'm going to be watching this along with all of you guys. I might even live blog that shit. I don't know, but I'm very excited. There's a press tour now, which, which, is, which starts on Tuesday. Really looking forward to seeing their banter, because let's just keep it real. Floyd's not winning that shit. Connor is a master of this bullshit. Of the trash talk, he's going to fuck Floyd up. I ain't going to lie to you. He's going to be nasty. That might even be more fun than the real fight. I'll be looking just like everyone else. I want Connor to win. It looks very improbable, if not impossible, but we've se I've seen Connor here before. What are your thoughts on this? I'm pretty sure most of you guys are going to say Floyd because your logic is saying that, and I totally understand. This is a freak show that's going to have the highest pay-per-view buy rates. 100%. Connor's the biggest name in sports and so is Floyd. What are your thoughts? I need to know. All right, guys, you take care. I'm going to catch you soon.